Hi there, my name is Emily Landis. I'm in the 10th grade and I attend Edward R. Murrow High School. And I did my project on the effectiveness of different types of absorbance on oil collection. Our oceans are really important ecosystems. We see all the time in the news how uh, entire ecosystems and, and coral systems and wildlife systems within the oceans are being wiped out because of pollution. And one of these types of pollution is oil spills which cause serious long-term damage to the environment and cost oil companies millions upon millions of dollars. Using natural resources is incredibly important to avoid further damage to the environment and they are more cost effective. I tested rock wool, peat moss, and wool. They're all renewable and sustainable materials that are easily accessible. And they were all tested for oil absorbency. I tested two different types of oil, motor oil and cooking oil. Um, I hypothesized that rock wool is suspected to have the best absorbency rate since wool and peat moss are both semi-hydrophobic. So peat moss is a soil-like consistency. It's made of decomposed plants. Raw sheep's wool is just shearing scraps that have come off the sheep. And rock wool is made of spun ball salt fat. Rock fibers is commonly used for hydroponics. First, I measured all the materials to get them around the same weight, and then I put on the nylon casing. The nylon casing was used to contain the peat moss, and to, since it isn't really containable. Um, next, I left the materials in a bin of saltwater solution and 10 milliliters of oil for five minutes. This was repeated three times for each material, each oil, and then the nylon casing separately. These are three photos of me conducting my experiment. The results were that rock wool absorbed astoundingly more than the rest of the materials. I think this is probably because when rock wool is used for gardening, its main purpose is to maintain and like con contain the water that it's just been given. Yeah, overall, rock wool did the best on average, which agrees with my hypothesis. Some challenges I faced were the nylon casings and the, a bad scale to expand for the research. I think that different types of oil and absorbance should be used as well as um, how to clean up oil that's been on land should be uh, looked into. Um, these are my sources. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a good rest of your day.